Hi Taurus, this is going to be your weekly love reading. So it looks like here right away, I was like shuffling and some cards came out and I said, Spirit said, leave them. I said, okay. Eight of Cups came out with seven, uh, the seven. Okay, the number seven could be significant for you some way, shape, or form. Um, the Chariots card, the Sun card, and the bottom of the deck when I looked down was the Nine of Wands. And I was like, whoa, somebody's been through quite a bit. This could be you or this could be a person. But I feel like there's someone here who went through hell, went through hell and back, or like somebody fought a good fight and somebody is now standing their ground and walking away from something. It's just not working for them anymore. And they're doing it pretty quickly. They're doing it like with a lot of strength, a lot of resiliency, a lot of courage. I feel like whoever this is, they're walking away from the darkness and into the light. So that's telling me you somebody's walking away from a connection that's just clouding their vision, clouded their judgment. It clouded, it just felt cloudy in that connection, right? This could be you receiving some form of information or someone receiving some form of information to persuade them or to guide them or push them to do this and go on this new journey because I feel like there's a new journey ahead. But the good thing about it here with the Eight of Cups being the first card, it's like they're walking towards, they're leaving that behind in the darkness, but they're walking towards that sun, which is happiness, which is something more fulfilling, which is they're walking towards that nine of cups and we all know the nine of cups is emotional fulfillment is satisfaction it's a wish fulfillment it's being emotionally content you know having enough right feeling full full of good emotion right and sometimes depending on the energy surrounding the nine of cups it can be overindulgence to or selfishness or like whatever but that's not the energy that i see here because with the cherry card being here next you could be a cancer you could be a leo you could be an aries leo or a sagittarius but like this is the energy of moving quickly moving on with courage with strength with willpower overcoming obstacles and riding right into the sun leo energy Riding right into whatever the hell it is that I feel like is going to make you very, very happy. You're getting ready, either you or, or the person you're dealing with. I don't know. Remember, this person, whoever it is, is like riding to the sunset. It's something that's about to make them mad happy, like really happy. Okay. I feel like somebody was like back and forth, weighing their options, deciding what they want to do. Maybe they were juggling two people in a connection, or maybe they felt juggled, or maybe there was an unequal give and take for some of you all. That might have been what it was. Or somebody just was unsure and went back and forth about it for a while. This could have been a king of swords here. Somebody here, uh, an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be, but... That could just be somebody also in the King of Swords energy, somebody who is a thinker, somebody who's head over heart, somebody who's not playing any games, you know. So show me more about this energy for the collective, please. What else do they need to know? Yeah, for sure. Ten of Swords, Three of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy here. I'm telling you, whatever this was or is, it's a, it's a no. And somebody's realizing this is a no. This is, a, this is not working for me anymore. I'm good. Deuces. Somebody's checking up the deuces. Like, very, a painful separation or a painful ending. Somebody was really hurt. Show me what else here. Yeah, but guess what? There goes that healing energy, Aquarius energy. Somebody's healing from this. Like I said, somebody's realizing something and they're walking away, you know, doing it rather quickly, but so resilient. I feel like somebody's been through some shit. This is a wish fulfillment. Like I said, walking away from the Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups, which is the wish fulfillment, the feeling content, being happy, getting whatever your heart desires. If you pray for something, it's coming. There's a healing definitely taking place here, too. So you will heal from this. You know, you will heal from this. Or this could be your person healing from something and having to walk away from something else. And it was like, damn, mad, painful. For the, I don't think, I have, it's been a while since I've seen the Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords come out. And then for the star to come out after that, it's like, damn. <laughs> it's like, but it's a good sign. 
Like if you, I, because the ending is new beginnings, healing, just a healing. Yeah. Look, ooh, and a new beginning on the bottom of the deck. The full Aries, Aquarius energy. There's a new beginning for you. If you just experienced a breakup or this could be your person that they were involved with somebody, they were, they, I'm telling you, somebody's about to be like. So show me. Can I see, please, Spirit? What, what's this new beginning about? Somebody's taking a leap of faith. What's this new beginning? Healing, healing, coming out of like feeling stuck. Somebody's no longer stuck here. Sagittarius energy here with the temperance. Somebody's no longer stuck, whatever it is. Somebody's being released. Maybe for some of y'all, somebody's getting out of jail and being released. Or they used, you know, I don't know, but show me what this new beginning is. It's also for some of y'all, it's coming out of your own head and just healing. And letting go of a past connection, like I said, that was no longer. Yeah, this is healing. You're going oh, tower moment. You're going through a tower moment, Scorpio energy. This is like when the tower crumbles. The tower is always like the divine. There's definitely divine intervention everywhere in this reading. Temperance, the tower, the chariot, the star, the sun. This is all divinely orchestrated. This was, you know how they say like safety, like it was a near miss. You may have some near misses, but like this is not a near miss. This was supposed to be this way. Spirit said, no, this had to happen this way. Maybe you didn't have the strength to walk away from something and you're being forced to. Or maybe your person did want to walk away from something. And the spirit said, okay, you don't want to do it. Let me show you. Here you go. You know what I'm saying? Oh, what's that? Yep, and then I say that double energy comes out. Spirit say you gotta let go of that toxic attachment. Capricorn energy, you gotta let go of that attachment. This has gotta, you, you, you can separate yourself from it. We're, well, we'll do it for you. King of Cups on the bottom of the deck and the Nine of Cups. And, hold on, the Ace of Cups. And the Emperor. You have an Emperor here. I'm going to show you. This is the King of Cups and the Nine of Cups. We just talked about like somebody walking away from something and walking right into this Nine of Cups. Either you're walking right into this King of Cups or this Divine Masculine is walking away from something and they know what they want and the wish fulfillment is somewhere else. And they want either something new or this is your personal reconciling. Or this is your, maybe even your, I don't know. For some of y'all, it resonates different. If this is a new person, this is somebody who went through a heartache and pain, a really bad breakup, a really bad divorce. And this person has actually done the work and healed and detached from something. If, if this is resonating for you and this is your person that was involved with somebody else, they are detaching, walking away. We have 88 here. Somebody could be born in 1988. Yeah. Like, oh, let me show you this. And then you have the emperors behind this. This emperor wants this new love regardless. This person knows what they want and they know what this wish fulfillment is. And they, they know what the hell they want. Look at this. Behind that is this queen of pentacles. This two of cups. And this page of cups. Wow. Look, hold on. Underneath that page of cups judgment so for i feel like for a lot of you all you know this definitely could probably resonate and the ten of pentacles and the six of wands shoot somebody's moving on they know who their person is they know what they want or if this is new somebody had a really horrible breakup somewhere else and they they, they know what they're looking for is not going to be toxic they know what they're looking for is going to be happy fulfilling balanced equal give and take it's going to be a gift from God and this person does not want or you do not want anybody that does not come directly from the source or from God. That's how you know it's not your person, right? Show me more here about this situation. This is good, actually. Hmm. Somebody, somebody's intuition is getting better. I feel like somebody was stuck and refusing to listen to their intuition. Two of Swords, High Priestess, Pisces energy. 
Somebody was not listening to their intuition here. They weren't listening to what God told them. But see, guess what? Now somebody sees clear. I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. This is going to be a bright, bright sunshine day. Yeah, they see what they see something or someone for who it is and what it is now. What's this realization here or this communication? Or somebody here might have been real, real quiet. Now they're getting ready to they want to talk. Or something's being revealed to them. And they're finally seeing something. What's this ace of swords? Clarify the ace of swords. They're thinking about, man, this is Six of Cups. Either this somebody's realizing you're their soulmate. This person knows where their happiness is. Or this person is looking for their soulmate. They're, or they're looking for their forever life partner. Show me more about the Ace of Swords. That King of Swords is right back out here. <laughs> so for some of y'all, it um, could be a Gemini uh, this person could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, or this King of Swords is somebody here who works like, they're very smart, kind of like, I feel like the tall, slim, you know, like fit, you know, this is somebody here who is adventurous, very wise person. Intellect. This person is turned on by intellect. There goes that Ace of Pentacles. This is a real good reading. Ten of Cups on the bottom of the day. Wow. I'm telling you, there goes that Ten of Pentacles. I just shuffled again and the Ten of Pentacles is back here. You have the opportunity. There's either somebody coming towards you, regardless if it's reconciliation or it is a new person. Spirit wants you to know what this person went through or maybe you went through this too. And But I feel like low-key there's a divine masculine who went through this and they walked away from something. For some of you all, this is them wanting to offer, they're thinking about you, they can't stop, they want to talk with you, they are realizing that they didn't trust their intuition, they didn't listen to, it's like this person could have prayed for something and then they did, when it was sent to them, they were just like, okay, they swindled it. You know, it could, could have been that. And now this person learned, learned a very, like a strong life lesson. And that life lesson was brought to them by way of tower for them to detach Eight of Swords. And I feel like Eight of Swords energy is like, most of that is like, you made a diff you made because of these choices, like it's not because of anybody else, it's because of you. Or it's your thought process of or the way you're doing things because of the way you're thinking, because of whatever these beliefs are, false self-beliefs or whatever it is for why you're in this toxic behavior or, or staying attached to that toxic behavior, whether it's a habit or a person. In the back of this person's mind is this Ace of Pentacles, which is a sh they want to offer something. That pentacle is stability. The pentacle is earthly. It's tangible. <clears throat> With the Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Cups being here, the two, you and this person have the opportunity to grow a family. Like I said, somebody's looking for their forever life partner or this person wants to come back towards you and they want a forever life partner. They they want to build a family. They This is long. I'm in it for the long haul energy. And there goes that emperor. I'm telling you, this emperor is not playing no, no fucking games with y'all. <sighs> what? This emperor is not playing any fucking games. Somebody here might be very well established. Look what's on the bottom of the deck. The queen of cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy is here. Uh, Aries energy is here. Queen of cups. Uh, I thought we saw. Didn't we see the king of cups earlier? I think we did. That's a divine counterpart. For some of y'all, you're blocking a new beginning or you're protecting yourself from this person. And you don't want to talk to them. But low key, you want a new beginning. Because I see, I think this person may have lied to you or something in the past. Knight of cups. Uh, the fool. Seven of wands. And queen of cups. You know, I feel like you did the work. 
with with judgment being here in the seven of wands you definitely made a decision to to protect your space protect your energy from anybody like so either a you went through this already and you're like yeah, i know my worth of knowing i'm not going to deal with or put up with or whatever um and so i'll just wait for the right person the one sent to me from god that's meant for me and like not some shit that i just have been making up in my own head um i'm not i'm gonna trust my intuition let's let's get you some yeah, I'll pull from this deck. <clears throat> All right. Show me more here for the collective. What is it that they need to know here about this? Con con Ooh. That's too many. I'm going to put this back. Somebody, somebody's disconnected from a karmic partner. That was too many, but I'm going to put them back and reshuffle. Somebody just disconnected from a karmic partner. All right, either that's you or that's this divine masculine. I strongly feel like it's a divine masculine based on these cards that I'm seeing. Show me what else this collective need to know. Yeah, what else is the collective need? Thank you. Yeah, see, there's a separation here. One card at a time, please. There is some form of expansion getting somebody's ascending and it makes total sense because we just talked about that energy, right? With our uh, temperance being here, the sun card being here, the chariot being here, uh after ten of swords, three of swords energy, you know, now ace of swords, somebody seeing something that the tower moment came there. Somebody was forced to heal the star energy with the star energy with and temperance is out here. This is definitely like I said, from the divine. This is other this is an otherworldly connection. This is a connection that is spiritually get gifted to you in this divine masculine. There's a pause here that's hmm. Somebody in action. I feel like Either this is spirit saying, hey, you don't have to do anything or you took a step back or you're just waiting for a sign. You're not taking any action or this person has been quiet, <clears throat> no communication. Somebody took a step back from you. You maybe haven't heard them for a while. They haven't taken any action towards you and they could be waiting for a sign from you or from I feel like this is from God or from spirit. But they're definitely going to get they're going to get their sign. Yeah. You know? See, there was some form of cycle here. But the thing is, momentum is moving. So you're moving through this. Somebody did have to go through some form of cycle with a karmic partner, like I said. Because it's shit. Ten of swords and three of swords is here. Somebody definitely went through something. Somebody's in some fertile energy here. Something is growing. A seed is being planted and something marvelous is going to grow from this. Like, great, 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 great energy here. <clears throat> so after a period of, like, pause and reflection and growing. And so, yeah, so now somebody here is detaching, trusting, and, and having faith. So all you need to do is, like, really nothing but just fully surrender here. Detach and have faith. Yeah, and romance. All you got to do is have faith. And there goes your romance. This says, reveal somebody. This person could be revealing to you. I'm telling you that they want union. It says flow, right? It's, we already said surrender, right? Savor, entice, open yourself to romance. <clears throat> These two people are on the beach. Like looking at each other, staring into each other's eyes. This is going to be good. This, you're going to be so happy about this. The, for some of you all, this is getting ready to happen in the fall. Are we in the fall? Yeah, this is happening this season. Duh. <laughs> it's happening in the fall here. And you're going to be so flipping grateful. You're going to be so grateful. This is good. This was a really nice week, you guys. Let me know in the comments if it resonated for you. I love y'all so much. Um, readings are going to slow down a little bit, so you, I'm going to try to get you another reading out tomorrow, and then we'll see, um, when I, what time I'll be able to do readings over the weekend, but otherwise, I love you. Bye.